Welcome back to yet another ranked match. This is going to be a replay commentary because my hard drive was literally full when I was doing a live commentary and I only noticed after the match. So this kind of sucks. But anyways, some of you like replay commentaries, so we're just gonna go with uh, go with that for, for this video. Anyways, it is me, Girth versus Mr. Sister, and um, we're playing an infantry versus infantry battle group. So we got the 11th, he has the Unternehmen. It's gonna be a ton of fun gonna be a ton of fun so the match takes about 24 minutes so that is good for my voice uh, because I literally just talked for 25 minutes before this before I realized it didn't record anyways we have uh, two commands going here on this map one to echo one to Fox and I'm playing with a lot of forward deployed units because we're airborne so we have two ATGMs going to the middle we have some legionary paras and mistrals basically going to here and here those guys are going to just kind of keep, you know, keep some cover against helicopters. The Mistrals are good, but the rate of fire kind of hurts you. Then we also have some uh, Sniper SAS teams, more Mistrals, and a Chasseur Para. These guys are all going to that uh, left zone there. We also have some Supply Trucks, and uh, we have an AMX-90 that is tasked with covering the left. And we have a Gazelle Cannon going left, and another Gazelle Cannon going to the right. And we also have two Celtics, just in case we see a helicopter rush. But that is not the case. We have SPG rush instead. SPGs and Strellas together with two Falschmager Metis teams and two uh, recon units in the back. And uh, we also have another group of two SPGs, an Aufklär, a Command, two, T uh, yeah, two T-55s, a Shilka and two Machutsen and BMPs. And that is it. That is it. Really interesting start, and I'm seeing this more often. Just having SPGs in the beginning, together with uh, these uh, Strellas. And they're all forward deployed, and also resolute, so they're actually really, really good. I'm going to keep it on my point of view, and I will switch it to neutral once in a while, just to kind of give you guys an idea of what I'm thinking. I think that's the best way. So we move the command to the left. We order this guy not to sell, that way we can load him back up and send him elsewhere, so that's exactly what we're doing. This guy is gonna go to this zone and start capping it. One on the right, same thing, we turn off the auto cell, unload here, cap this zone and then move him to the middle. And that way we make sure that uh, we're not gonna be behind on conquest points. Because that is really the most important part in a ranked game. Um, you don't want to really have to worry too much about the conquest points. You really want to just focus on the battle itself. And if you don't capture those zones early on, you're going to be in trouble. But let's go into neutral mode. We see that the command here is going through the zone. He's about to cap Delta, but he doesn't have an, uh, another command. So he's going to need one soon because I'm going to neutralize Charlie. Um, or we're going to contest Charlie because that command is going there. And we have one that is about to go there. But I'm going to be the only command on the left, so that is, um, that's the idea. To then force him to spend more points on commands instead of uh, focusing on regular fighting units, which is what I'm then focusing on. So we're moving the para SAS. We notice something back there. I don't know what it is, so I quickly get the Milan back and get the para SAS to unload and move up. These guys have the Minimi, two of them. They have satchel charges and six really good assault rifles really really good infantry to have they're just awesome on the right side the mistral is getting close to where it's meant to unload which is right there and from here hopefully he can keep a nice little uh you know overview of uh, of the area and take down any helicopters that might arrive para sas going to the office that kind of looks like the building from uh, world war z to be honest and they absolutely destroyed that SPG. look at that Manages to fire once, didn't really even hurt our SAS units. But we are good. Now on the right side, a UAZ. Interesting unit to see here. Only 25 points, somehow also resolute, which is kind of funny. Um, is uh, harassing our Mistral. But our Milan team is going to take that out, no problem. So right now, we are still plus one. We have a command moving to the middle, and he just bought a command. Nope, this is his original command that is now moving to the left side, I believe. Is it? Yep, it is, yeah. That was the command he moved into this zone, now he's moving that to the left, so he's still going to be low on commands. The moment I take the middle, uh, we're gonna actually take it over completely. 
So what am I purchasing? We're purchasing some more Chasseur Paras, really good infantry units. Uh, since he's playing infantry, I'm not going for the ones that are um, not going for the legionaries, because we have the Apelas with these guys. I'm just going for the Chasseur Paras, because they're cheaper, and uh, their light anti-tank has two more, um, two more rounds compared to the Apelas, which only has one. So I'm trying to go for more quantity here. So the pair SAS stumble across this sharpshooter. Really not good. Really not good to be up against the sniper team. They're gonna do a ton of damage. And every couple of shots, it's gonna be one of our dudes gone. And they fire pretty quick too. But look at this. I quickly move back, but upon seeing these vehicles, I move them back in. And we absolutely destroy those guys with satchels. Oh my god. There goes two squads right there. So that worked really well. We know there's a command. I think that was a miss micro from our friend here. We fire an RPG at it and we destroy that, so that is going to hurt him big time. Now we have an engagement on the left. So I'm not quite sure why that command also moved left. We might have taken it out or something. I'm not quite sure because I thought he had one command going like that and the other one going like this, but I guess it was the same command that got mismicroed. But look at this push here. We have a problem. SPGs, Grenzers, Fallschirmjägers, T-55, Shilkas, Stratlas, BMPs, everything. And we only have one poor Chasseur error over there to hold off all of that. So we take the decision on the left to fall back and just uh, try to hold with the Chasseur para until reinforcements arrive. And that's going to be in the shape of more Chasseur Paras, a Mistral just in case, and we will also get an ERC-90 and some uh, Para SAS, and more Chasseur Paras to reinforce that. And that way, we should be Gucci. Now, up, since we're in neutral mode, let's just look at this unit composition. We have Strela, SPG, uh, Recon, the Mi-24, definitely a problem. Sharpshoot's a really good unit to have, but then the T-80 comes in. And T-80s are not the most fun unit. Um, for the 11th Airborne. We do have some ATGMs here, but the moment that T-80 moves out in the open, he's going to be toast, but uh, he really moves into a safe position there. We could have moved the ATGM up here, but I wanted him to keep a nice little nice little line of sight on the entire area. So over here, units have not stopped. We just slowly fall back, as you can see, and we move into our secondary defensive line, which is exactly what you should do when you're on the um, on the defense on the back foot, is to fall back, create a new line, and then re-engage, and wait until reinforcements arrive. Go to Chasseur Paras, they're going to be engaging the BMPs, unfortunately we missed the first shot. Right now we're only using logistics, which is okay, we managed to destroy the BMP, which was really really useful. With the help of the ERC, we destroyed the second one, and we destroyed a T-55. But now, there's a bit of a Grenzer issue. Flamethrowers. Not great. Luckily, the Para SAS have arrived. We're just gonna attack move these guys up the hill, and try to get in range of the satchels, and take those guys out. Over here, Chasseur Paras are actually taking on a T-55, and they succeed at destroying it. Really, really useful. And we also have the Chasseur Paras over here on the left, that are going to unload here and hold that area. And the VLRA 50 cals are... I kinda like them. They're really, really good at just picking off, you know, random bits of infantry. But the para SAS get in there. They are now in satchel range. They destroy that squad without any problem. Really awesome units to have. Might be one of my favorite units in the game. On the right side, we have done a fresh attack here. We have a Chasseur Para moving into the building that has a flamethrower squad in there. Really not the best. Um, but we're relatively low on units here. We do move up the Celtics to try to take out those helicopters. And especially the MI2 is a problem. Celtic misses twice. Hits the third one. Misses the fourth one. And that is kind of bad. That's a... Yeah. No ECM on that. And there's 40% chance of us missing and it misses three times. That's kind of, you know... What is the chance of that? Hold on a second. So it missed the first two, and then it hit the third, but then missed the fourth. So 0 0.4 times 0 0.4 times 0 0.6 times 0 0.4. So in that order, the chance of it happening is 3.8%. Which 
if that if my calculation is correct for that sequence that is every time you know it's a, it's a different chance of course there's no chance of it hitting the first one and then whatever math i'm more biology okay anyways we got a plane coming in su-22 m4 rockets really nice to see these planes being used really useful 135 points they have the dual 30 mils which is perfect for taking out helicopters 120 135 points imagine if there's an apache you know worth 200 plus you can have that guy come in and destroy it with the dual 30s and they actually do a good job at it yeah the mistrals they're accurate but man the rate of fire once every 10 seconds is just impossible when they do get a hit though it is nice over here because your paras and the SAS are doing a pretty good job. Meta's team cannot fire at the ERC over there. It's just barely hidden. That is great. And we clean that up really, really nicely. Over here, we see a triple stack of uh, flame units. We have 50 cals over here trying to suppress those dudes. We're also getting SVG, so this pair of SAS is going to try to fall back and save itself. And we're also getting attacked on the left side. SPGs, sharpshooters, and flame units. Really interesting combo of units that uh, our opponent is using the entire time. Let's go back to our point of view here. Yeah, SC-22 comes in, absolutely annihilates our forces. I really need to use those guys. So since we're kind of weak in the AA department, we get more man pads. We got our ERC-90 here to suppress these dudes. Para SAS, we did move them back, but a little bit too late. And we get destroyed. TDB actually down to 2 HP. Really, really good. ERC got a few few licks in. We have two more ERC 90s to replenish that. Also two Milan 2s. Let's see what kind of damage those guys are going to do against some of these SPWs. Four guys. Yep, there goes one of them. Decently positioned Milan 2s for sure. Yeah, you definitely want the crossfire with AT gems. This is really, really useful. Here we go. Another hit. Oop, no, that was a miss. But hopefully... Yeah, the ERC shouldn't really have a problem with that. So on the left side, we had that giant engagement. All of our guys are kind of low on health, except for the legionary parrot. So we're moving those guys up to the edge of the forest there. And we're also getting a ton of supplies to get those rearmed. The ones that are hurt, that is. Mistral, engaging MI-24. Doing a good amount of damage, but you know what? It only does five damage and this guy is armored so we need three hits total unless we get like a critical hit with uh, one of the two but you know what that is good enough for me there's more mistrials over here in case he moves in there we go and we managed to take that out so good coverage against helicopters for sure legionary paras comes in firing at the grenzer we have our milan firing at the shilka really insane combo of units here Man pads, anti-infantry, and anti-tank. Really fun to see that. We did lose the Puma Pirate due to the Shoka, but we got some revenge. Very good. So right now, we are ahead with, you know, Jesus. <laughs> we are ahead with 600 points. So we're doing pretty good. And we're just building up on our forces. At this point, he gets a command in the zone right here. And he is now actually leading with plus one. Our command here is kind of just waiting for my infantry to clear the way. We have a good lead, uh, so we don't need to do anything drastic. We also have some more supplies coming in. And now we're going to try to do a push over here. This is a smoke mission. We're going to try to smoke off that entire area and uh, try to get the SAS and a Chasseur Para in that zone. And I really recommend people using smoke. Smoke is one of the most important things in an attack. And I would Bye. recommend it. So the smoke is put down, but guess what? He has units to guard it. But these two SVWs, although they're really cheap units, they're being a problem. Because the SAS does not have any anti-tank. Esser Para is just one dude with four anti-tank rockets left. Yeah. Not the best combo there. But hey, it's an attempt. 
and we're gonna see how that goes. Going back to neutral, we are also building up over here. We have three legionary paras with the Apelas. Those guys are gonna be tasked with moving up there to reinforce if needed. That is how I love to play it. Oh yeah, here we go. These guys were on move order, and they get absolutely annihilated by the KPVT. That is insane. Look how fast they just got redlined. Kinda nuts. Luckily, we do destroy one of them, but before we get a chance to fire at the second one, uh, he gets out of there. Now, meanwhile on the left, Legionary Paras have reached their destination. We have some nice supply lines here. Now we can move the command back in and neutralize that. Yeah, two pioneers with the launchers. Not good. Not good. But we fall back. Now we need to uh, think of a new strategy. We have more legionary paras coming in. We're gonna move these guys up instead to try to at least get a foothold here and use the smoke to advance here without any issues. And we're getting a puma pirate here to try to save the para SAS. But there are some enemy manpads there that are gonna be a problem. But now we take it back. He does not have a command in the zone. He keeps going back and forth for some reason with that command. Um, I'm actually not quite sure what he's doing with it. There's one in the back there that he hasn't moved, but he's now moving it. Okay. Very odd use of commands, I have to say. So yeah, you know what? At least the smoke gave us some good cover to move up here. So that's going pretty good. And now we're doing a new smoke mission. We have legionary paras coming in. They're tasked with unloading right here. Because of the smoke, we should have pretty good cover. And if we go into neutral mode, you can definitely see that it's a good idea. There's a lot of units here, especially these SPGs. And uh, man, these ATGMs in the back, they're going to be a problem. Three planes coming in. I don't know why they're trying to get my command out of there. But the rocket plane doesn't fire a single rocket. I think he saw a unit, but then lost line of sight. And we managed to destroy one of them. But yeah, as you can see, the Mistral's not really the best against, you know, fast-moving units. They do get a nice hit on the MI2, though. There you go, another Mistral out. That was a good hit, though. I'll give him that. Let's see if this one finishes the job. Nope, he's still on reload. And that guy as well, I think. Yep, they're not gonna finish that. Now, besides the ground assault, we also have some aeromobiles and Super Pumas coming in. Two Buckham ones in the back, though, completely annihilate the rocket plane. But hey, you know what? It wasted their ammunition. What is their reload time, actually? Salvo length four. Okay, so they can fire all four rockets and then have then reload. But yeah, we still made it. The smoke did really, really good. I don't think we would have made it if that smoke wasn't there. But we get the airmobiles into those buildings and then combine them with the legionary paras. To uh, blast these guys out of there, and that is doing the Lord's work. We have some more legionary pairs on standby, and as you can see, the left side is also being engaged, uh, which is just fine for now. But our dudes are winning. It's just SPGs and Fagot teams. I'm not really too worried about that. Also, gazelle cannons, really, really useful. Super powerful. 70 points though. It's kinda, you know, this is the recon version. But man, they're they're really nice to have. Look at that. Doing a ton of damage on that. We get all of our infantry up here. He does respond with an MI24 AA variant. Uh, which with those rockets, man, that's gonna be it's gonna be a problem for us. We move up one of our legionary paras upon noticing the SPG. We immediately unload, which in hindsight is a bit premature because the SPG got destroyed. But hey, we're getting there. Now on the left side, our opponent is building up for a new push, but we have a nice conservative defense here. A couple of Chasseur Paras and uh, SAS units. Legionary Paras here with the Apilas, and then Chasseurs on the left. But yeah, we're not one-tapping BMPs. So I think next time, I'm definitely getting more of the Apilas squads. Maybe one Chasseur Para and one Apilas, just to, you know, have both options there. So upon noticing the Machos, we move in the Para SAS. 
get him into SP or not SPG, but get him into satchel charge range, which we are right now. We're gonna blast these guys out of there. Both of them got stunned by the T-55s, but we quickly make short work of those guys. And we actually destroyed a T-55 back there with a PLAS. And that just shows how powerful these guys are. Really, really good. And the use of T-55s, I do respect it. It's pretty... They're pretty good. They're pretty good, but if you're up against the French Airborne, it's a big risk because French Airborne has good anti-tank and they will blast you out. Unfortunately, we're missing a lot of those shots, so you know what? Actually a good shout. Yeah, Legionary Paris. This guy is not a range of the EP last. I should have maybe microed a little bit more, which we do at this point. We move him up a little bit, try to get a better line of sight, but luckily, our ERC-90 takes over. Pretty good accuracy when standing still 50% on an 8 round of, or eight rounds per minute cannon. Really not bad. But we need to take out that T-55. So we move this guy up. And as soon as we're in range, we target the T-55. We stop. And we take it out. A really good use of that unit. Now on the right side here, we have taken over that little area there so that is really really important and we are doing a renewed push on the left Machutes have pushed us out here but luckily we have some reinforcements back there that can take care of this Trella takes out one of our Puma pirates luckily the other one is still able to uh, land some nasty hits on these guys look at that really good units to have now we're gonna try a new push we're gonna once again smoke this area and get our airmobiles in there with Super Pumas. I'm basically just smoking exactly where I want to land and also to block the line of sight from any of those uh, AA pieces. Urigan unleashes on our position. Luckily, we were already out of there. This is how I like to play. After an engagement, I fall back, replenish my units with some supplies, and then I uh, redo my push. So the smoke is put down. These airmobiles are gonna be tasked with moving up here very, very shortly. And we also have some reinforcements coming in, in a form of more airmobiles and also a Super Puma. Or Puma Pirate, I should say. A pretty good game so far. Pretty good game so far. Here we go. We have our Mistral's in position. But yeah, again, pretty low rate of fire. Uh, that's why I don't really frequently use man pads. But if you have a couple of them, man, they can they can blast tanks or tanks. They can blast helicopters away. No problem. Four planes being called in. Two SU-24s or 22s with cluster. For some reason hating my ERC-90s. Kind of a... I don't know, kind of an overreaction for some ERC-90s in my opinion. And we do lose a plane, unfortunately. But here it is. So the Buckham ones... Unfortunately, last minute did have a line of sight on our helicopter, but hey, they survived the crash, and we managed to land this guy or hover below the smoke line just in time to unload. This guy is not really surviving that well. He's exactly in the fire. Unlucky. But these guys are getting in there. Now at the same time, I'm moving up the Legionary Paris, and I have another airmobile squad moving in exactly where other one actually managed to land. And look at that, the bucks are actually out of ammo, so that is perfect. And we're getting that guy to the right there. Now, since we know that he really likes airborne responses, we're getting some Pamela's. These are trucks with the Mistral launcher on it. And we're also getting some 50 cal fire support. There's a lot of sharpshooters and whatever all over this place, but we're getting that to just uh, reinforce. Now, the airmobiles. I moved them up quite aggressively. We sniped the command, which was positioned in the forest here. But right now we're gonna be plus, I believe, well, right now plus one, since he has neutralized the left. But we have another plan. We're just gonna get a command into that right zone. And there's absolutely nothing defending it. We are actually already in neutral mode. Absolutely nothing on the right, not even a recon unit. And uh, I could have done the same on the left side here. In terms of uh, flank protection, really not much going on. 
Got the 50s get in there. We're moving up the Milans. Airmobiles and Legionary Paris here are battling against some Pioneers and SPWs. Going not too badly. I move up the Mirage to try to take out the Mi-24. And uh, since we noticed that the Bucks weren't firing, I kind of just took that risk. But we do get hit once. But we survive. Here we go. 50 cows are getting in there. That's going to be gorgeous against all of these units here. We're also getting one to go to the right side, and that's going to help suppress a lot of units. It's going pretty good. Now on the left, we were getting attacked again by a lot of pioneers. But again, we're just holding the line. Don't need to do anything drastic. We're getting that command on the right zone. I tell this Puma Pirate or Super Puma not to sell so that I can, you know, medevac the command again. But at this point, he gives us that GG's and he surrenders. So pretty decent game. Um, not the highest ranking, but again, rank really doesn't matter. Pretty good player, 60% win rate. So uh, definitely want to thank you, Mr. Sister, for playing the game. And uh, look at the Paras, man. Para SAS, definitely one of my favorite units. And the 11th Airborne is such a good battle group. It's such a good battle group. I really enjoy playing with these uh, with these units because the recon tab alone is insane. 12 Para SAS with mini satchel charges. They come in the 50 cal trucks. You also have sniper SAS. You can get the Eclairer Paras. Two cards of nine each. The only downside is it's you know it's a four man squad. But then you have all of the infantry, and I actually have six six command infantry units. Uh, because that way I don't need to get a command unit in here, and I can just go crazy with that. But uh, yeah, it might you know, it might be a little bit, you know, <laughs> maybe it's a little bit too much, but I really didn't feel like I was lacking infantry. I kind of just went for a lot of commands in this case. You never know when you need them. But yeah, that was it guys. I really hope you enjoyed this one as well. If you did, let me know down in the comments, and I'll see you guys back very shortly. Take care.